Welcome back guys, episode two. The Canadian liquidator, the reality version of it. Do you make money, do you break even, or do you lose money? Let's step right into it. I have one of my totes right here. I have a makeshift down in the basement. It was a little chilly in the garage, so I had to bring everything in. And uh, let's go through, let's see what we have, and uh, let's see if we can, you know, get some golden nuggets here. Okay. Paper towel. Oh, got a long way to go. We're gonna keep getting paper towel, guys. 215 bag Twix, M&Ms, Snickers. You want it? Hit me up. Ooh, nice low sweater. Let's see what we got here. Woman sweater. There we go. Hey, I just want to introduce you guys to my personal assistant. She's been with me a long time. I just have to give a shout out. This is Holada. If you ever see anything that Holada is wearing, glasses, apparel, it's all for sale. I'll leave a link below how you can contact us, okay? What do you think, Holada? That, yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, let's see what else we got here, guys. Running shoes, come on woman's running shoes nice not bad there we go all right optimal nutrition golden way now i'm bringing this out i did a little when i took this out of the palette i had put it in the tote this is what i want to explain to you guys the reality of what it's really like buying these palettes okay if you watch my first episode, I had mentioned, you know, on average, you're paying about 20 to 35% on the dollar. Now, how that breaks down, just so you guys, I'm not going to go through this every video, I'm going to do it now, it gives you guys a, an idea of how it really works. So, my supplier, when they buy everything, they buy it by the truckload, and where they're getting it, hypothetically, uh, you know, these are predominantly all Amazon products. This one here, I change things up. I usually buy shelf poles only. Shelf poles, 99% is brand new and they'll throw in about 1% of returns just for, you know, giggles. Here you go, I'll throw it in. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. This one here, I kind of went on a limb. It's about 50% shelf poles, 50% returns. I haven't done it this way before. I figured, ah, let's break it up. Let's see what I get. Is it worth it or if it's not worth it? Now, this right here, this protein, now, I did my homework, I went online. This retails $85 plus tax at Popeye Supplements. It is $84 plus tax at GNC. So, let's, easy number, $80. Say I paid 20%, I have $16 invested in this. Okay, you're thinking, oh, well, if it retails for 80, I should be able to sell it for 50. Absolutely correct. $50, not a bad profit, but, when I open it up, guess what? It's open. Any open product like this, I can't sell. It's no good. It has a complete value to me of zero, zero dollars. So now, just so you understand, I have $16 invested in something that has to go straight into the garbage. So out of these paper towels, chocolate bars, or running shoes, I now have to take $16 out of those once I sell them just to make up for something I threw in the garbage. That's the reality of it. So I'm just throwing this on. These pallets here, give or take, you're probably going to throw a good 30% of it out. It's either broken, missing, opened, something that in my business I don't want to have to sell to a consumer. I don't need anybody giving me bad feedback. I don't want to sell products that aren't, that aren't worth it. So, going forward, that's how that works. Let's see what else we have. Live Lucky. Live Lucky hat. For now on, it's going to be my hat, guys. This is going to be my lucky hat. Okay, what else we got? Protective tablet case, ESR. Do they mention which one it is? iPad Pro 12.9 inch 
Moon Exploring Fleet, four in one, ages eight plus. There you go. Stuff like this, it's brand new, never opened. Uh, that's the stuff how we like to get it. I'll have to go online and basically find out what it's worth and then price it accordingly. <clears throat> okay. No name. Let's see what we got here, guys. Okay. All right. Again, this is one of those products. It doesn't tell you what it is. I think there's uh, might be something. Eh, you know what? I just don't know what it is. Um, if you were looking for a big uh, doorknob, brushed brass, elegant, I'll sell it to you. Good price. Other than that, I have no clue what it is, guys. Right. What do we have? What do we have? This promise is universal. Oh, Evan Flow. So, you know, it's going to be baby related. It is brand new. Just the, the bottom is punctured. By the looks of it, it looks like it's part of, a, you know, a breastfeeding bottle. Take a better look into that later. We get a lot of uh, baby products sometimes, which, you know, if they're in good condition, new, easy sells. All right, glasses for replacement glasses. Let's see what we have here. Wow, son. You ever heard of Wow, son, guys? I've never heard of Wow, son. Have you ever heard of Wow, son? Comment below. Let me know if they're any good. Oh, I don't think they're all that expensive at all. I don't think they're that expensive at all. Let's see here. Well, some some glad they are cool looking going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, nice and stiff, not bad. Oh yeah, okay, okay. These work, these work. All right, guys, got some sunglasses there for you. All right, uh, automotive compression tester gauge. I actually got to take these off. It's a little too dark down here. Compression testing, brand new, spanking. Let's see here, guys. Okay, anybody in the automotive, ah, nice. If you're in that kind of uh, business, you want to check the compression on your vehicle, snowmobile, anything else like that, it works, something like that. I've had a few of these in the past before. This brand here retails for around $40. So again, you know what, $40 brand new, I'll put it on for $25. Okay. Uh, don't know what it is. And don't know what this is. Okay, what do we got here? It is a lock of some sort because I have keys. All right. Lock, unlock. Uh -huh. It's uh, you know what? It's a heavy duty lock of some sort. Again, this is uh this is where I'm coming to you. This is what we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I'm now getting, I'm now paying 20 to 35% on a product. I have no clue what it is. And uh, the sad part is, is it's actually really good quality. It could be worth a hundred dollars and it's going to be a tough sell to try and get anything unless I can find somebody or do my homework and find out exactly what this product is. Okay, what we got in here? Okay. All right. We're open. Okay, so this I'm gonna tell you right now, and you get a lot of you get a lot of stuff like this in this kind of business is it is replacement parts for certain items. Uh, the unfortunate part is it doesn't tell you what the replacement parts for. So again, here I am stuck with with a with a product I'm more than likely uh, not going to be able to get rid of. If once I get a physical location, it's easy for me to throw it in a bin, put a, a dollar, five dollar thing on the bin, and let people go through it. Okay, board, nothing spectacular. Not quite sure exactly what it's for woman's yes woman's workout tights again what do you what do you think Holada? you think these are gonna fit you extra small guys extra small nice 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 
So let me break this down. I'll keep going. I'll go kind of go through this. I'm going to explain to you guys what uh, returns are, or at least what returns to me are. A lot of people are under the assumption that a return is something that somebody buys something, they use it for a period of time, they send it back. Uh, you know what? It's not. A return can be broken down into three categories. Either somebody did purchase it, they used it and then sent it back. Eh, we won't say much about those people. Those products coming back, generally, they're, they're not worth anything, unfortunately. Or if it's in really good shape, you can sell it as used. Uh, and try and get, you know, try and get about 30-40% of retail if it's a product that's justifiable. Um, another category in the return is somebody had purchased it and then realized, oh, well, you know what, I really didn't need it. Or I found a cheaper one somewhere else and they automatically sent it back. They don't even open it. And then they comes back and you have a brand new product. That's a return too. And then you have the third aspect of a return where somebody does get it. They open it up, they look at it, it's the wrong size, or it's not exactly the quality they're looking for, they haven't used it, they retape it, but it's not factory taped, and they send it back, and again, you have a brand new product. So, there are the three aspects of a return. Uh, I just don't want everybody to think, oh, it's a return, it's no good, it's usually garbage. Now, there are appliances and everything else where people have used people, unfortunately, in this kind of business, they will get the return, they don't do their homework, they sell it as new, and I think that's what gives a lot of liquidators a bad name is because it is a used product. If it's going to be a used product, you have to sell it as used. If it's an open box but brand new, I will sell open box, new condition. Okay? That sums that up. LCD writing tablet for kids. All right. There we go. PS2 to HDMI converter. PS2, if that's the game, I'm going to have to say that's going to be a tough sell. I don't know too many people that are still running PS2s. Jack pad. No clue what a jack pad is. More clothes. Okay, let's see here. See what we got. What do you think, Olada? You think this is something you might like? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's actually, it's not. It's a tablecloth, guys. Nice tablecloth. There you go. It's round for a round table. Nice. I'll have to measure this later. Check out the material and then, uh, you know, see what uh, we can get a couple bucks for. Sugar like. This stuff is actually good. You know, if you can get the good stuff where it doesn't taste like chemicals, this stuff can get absolutely expensive, very expensive. But hard to make back a couple thousand dollars on sugar. Okay, what do we have here, guys? Again, you know what? I need my knife. I'll get that later. And we have... Hmm. Card cases, business card cases. Uh, you know, business cards are kind of going out of style. Not too many people have them anymore. Not in this digital age. Again, these are like pops, kind of baking product. What we have here. All right, so this is one of those knee support pillows. Oh, Canvio, I know this brand. They are compression socks. Yes, they are compression socks. There you go. So, here is a prime example of what I had just mentioned. You can tell somebody physically had ripped the top of this and opened them up. They returned them, and they are brand new. You can tell, I mean, especially compression socks, you can tell if they've ever been put on. They have never been put on, so I think somebody had ordered them, realized, well, you know what? my foot is not going to fit in that well technically your foot probably should fit in that that's the whole purpose of a compression sock but uh you know what wrong size there you go somebody bought it brand new sent it back here we go now what i would do if i was selling those if uh you know somebody we don't keep them is brand new open package mm -hmm. again some kind of cleaning mechanism. I have no clue what it is. And unfortunately, it's the stuff that you don't know what it is. Chances are 85% of the time, 
Again, I don't know, you're not going to sell it. And if you can't sell it, you've just spent at least 20% on a product that you can't sell. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Again, don't know. <clears throat> okay, well, I can tell you this right now. This is part of a snow brush. Hopefully, in one of my other uh, totes, I actually have uh, the whole thing. Garbage, garbage, phone case, trust me, I have enough phone cases, I could, you know, I could build my own company. Hard to get rid of. Even the new ones, I have iPhone 11, 11 Pro, everything, hard to get rid of. Laptop cover, again, it doesn't tell you which one, is it for a small MacBook, is it uh, 12, 12 inch, 12 and a half inch, that's the hard part, guys. This is the reality of it. You end up with these products. They'll sit around in my garage. And uh, you know what? This is where all my money gets tied up sometimes. Again, sugar. Uh, these were floating around. I, got, I seem to get a few of these. They're those bags. It's almost uh, those, um, I can't remember the, the brand name of it, but it's those nice sealing ba uh, bags that seal. Here we go. Again, this is not something I'm going to be able to sell now, but it might be something I can use. Let's see what else we got here. My wife's laughing at me. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> so let's see. Up. Oh, there we go. Part of the snow brush. Ear cleaner. Mm-hmm. All right, it is an ear cleaner. Hasn't been used. Well, saving grace for there. It's been used. Guess what? It would have a value of zero dollars. That there, get a couple bucks for. Phone case. Let's see what's in here. All right. Let's see what we got. I'm not sure. I'm sure what these are. Okay. Let's see. It is. You know what? It's a charging cable for something. I'm not sure if I'm going to be stuck with just a charging cable that I have no use for, or if there's going to be something else that might have been thrown in here that uh, I can utilize. So we'll have to keep those. Hopefully, I have the product they actually go to. Summer May, make life enjoyable. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd like to make life enjoyable. What we got? Again, oh, I'd have to say woman shorts, bathing suit, etc. What do you What do you think, Holada? What do you think, guys? Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Summer May, woman's bathing suit or shorts. That's your style. It will be posted. This one here, sports. Okay, oh, yeah, there we go. Woman's sports bra. Nice secure on the back. That baby's not coming undone. Oh, yeah. Guess it would help if I put it on. Oh, front. Put it on the right way, eh, guys? Ooh. There we go. You never know if it fits. Wear it. Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got here? I see some wires in here, guys. Okay. Socks. Wire. You know what? These cables might be for, I think these are heated socks. Heated socks, my friends. Let's see if these, I don't know if these are, these might be the batteries. Ah, uh, you know what? So the other wiring, I have no clue what it's for. It has nothing to do with these. This is the battery. This is the charge the battery. Heated socks. I'll take those every day of the week. Nice. That's a good find. That's a good find, heated socks. The only problem with it is it's a good find, but I don't have any intentions of selling them. I will be keeping these. 
because uh, you know what? You can't go wrong with heated socks, especially when you're skiing. Sugar. Nice pair of hair cutting scissors. Actually, they're nice. They're good quality hair cutting scissors. If you do it at home, COVID, everybody's doing it. Boom, there you go. Hair barrettes, slippers. All right. Medium, women's. Those those uh, slip-ons almost act like a, like a tight sock. Have oregano oil as long as it's new it's not open if it's open you know you know what this brand new so I'll have to find out oregano oil see what that kind of goes for and somebody gets a good deal picking this stuff for at least 50% off uh, part garbage garbage what do we have here a watch a watch without a case so somebody could either send back a watch, which, I mean, why would you send it back like that? It could have been on the floor at one of the warehouses, though they threw it in. Um, it works. It all works. It is a kid's watch. It looks brand new. doesn't look like it has any wear on it. So it might have been off the warehouse floor. Somebody threw it in. We don't know what to do with it. Look at the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs on it. Nice kids watch. Again, you're not going to get a lot of money for that, especially without the original box. But if you make a couple of dollars, I mean, that's what it is. That's the life of a, a real Canadian realtor here, buddy. And this change pin, I have no idea. I have to do a bit of research on that. Even by the size of it, I can say there's not a lot of value. But again, every dollar helps. Now, this one here, let's see what we have box okay you know what if you know what this is hit me up because this is good solid metal but it has nothing on the box of what it is absolutely I don't think so oh hang on a second there is a picture here. Hmm. It has to go with your car or truck. It is a mount of some sort. I'll have to do some homework and find out what it at what actually mounts to it, and then hopefully uh, it's a product that people are still still purchasing and uh, try and make. I mean the quality of it, the weight of it. I'm going to have to say something like this would probably retail for around $30, $40. So if I can even get $20 back being a brand new product, um, I'll take it. So you know what? Basically, here we go. This is what I have at the end of one tote. I probably have a total off that one pallet. Eh, let's say about seven totes. And then I have about a half a dozen boxes that I can open. All right, so that's about it for this tote, the first tote. If you guys want to see more, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thanks.